Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we're back with this play Final Fantasy Tactics Advance on the Game Boy Advance. Last time, we took on some, uh, I want to say Gal's Nemesis, but I could be mistaken here, and I probably am now that I think about it. Uh, what was it? Oh no, we took, a, we took care of that Queen Lamia that showed up from the, what was it, the Red Wings, I think it was? So yeah, took care of them and some other stuff. And then we, well, decided to learn some Blue Mage off screen by going over to help Salika Wood for the Salika Wood capture, whatever bullshit. And it actually worked out pretty good because there were three white, uh, Blue Mage spells to learn, and I got them for both my Blue Mages here. So we got White Wind, Angel Whisper, and Magic Hammer. So Magic Hammer was from the Goblin. And White Wind and Angel Whisper were from fairies, uh, but there was two two different fairies that had them, so I had to control each one. Luckily, White Wind is AOE, so you can go ahead and get it to target both of your blue mages at once, and you can just learn it like that quickly. That was nice. Uh, Angel Whisper is really nice because it uh, has a healing effect and it resows auto rays, so that's pretty good. Not an AOE, but yeah, it's good enough. I guess with my little magic, it's probably not that great. But, um, if you want really good ma uh, magic for healing, uh, with the blue magic power, just get it on your blue mage here, or the white wind. Because what it does, it restores HP equal to your current HP. So let's say you're at 120 HP out of 214, it'll restore you and the guys around you for 120 HP, so it's really nice. So if you put this on, like, uh, somebody in the back lines with high HP, like, let's say Marsh is just hanging back, he doesn't take any damage, but somebody else it gets a critical hit on him, uh, then you can just go ahead and pretty much fill him back up all the way, so it's really good for that. Uh, let's see, Magic Hammer, I didn't have the ability to control goblins, so I had to wait for the goblin to use it on me uh, out of his own free will. Yeah, I, I mean, I had the weapon for it, for goblins, and also the weapon for fairies, but I didn't have a weapon that has goblins and fairies. I chose fairies because they're not going to heal you no matter what, pretty much, unless you manage to like, charm them, and even then they might not. So yeah. Other than that, though, our blue mages are happy, happy, happy with their extra abilities. I thought I might have missed a chance to learn magic hammer because I thought that some of the goblins would stop showing up at a certain point, but oh well. Good enough for me. Uh, there's probably people in the bloodthirsters here that have uh, like level S shadow or some shit like that. I'm not gonna bother because screw it. It's just uh, it has to be a certain amount of uh, days or whatever. By the way, I finally looked up uh, what the requirements for getting new uh, stuff in shops is. It's basically there's 13 upgrades for the shops. The first two upgrades are from winning 10 battles and winning 20 battles, I think. And then after that. Here, let me actually get the uh, the page for this because it's actually pretty easy to see here. It's based on the number of areas that you control. So for the final upgrade of 13 uh, upgrade or the 13th upgrade, you have to have uh, what is it? All 30 areas in the game controlled. So that's going to happen like the very last part of the game, like the very, very last. But other than that, it is... Let's see, the third one after the 20 battles is own 10 turfs. The fourth one is 15. Fifth is 20. The sixth is 21 turfs. The seventh is 22 turfs. Eighth is 23. Ninth is 24. Tenth is 25. Eleventh is 26. Twelfth is 28. And the final one is 30. Um... And for the first two upgrades, you get just a couple of uh, good stuff there. And just basically like extra like equipment and stuff. Uh, upgrades 3 through 13 tend to add one item per shop. Or one item in one shop. So like the third shop upgrade added Cure-All over in... Where was it? Uh... I don't remember, but the point is it added cure-all to a shop, so you can buy that there. Uh, the fourth one added star armlets to a shop, the fifth one added bracers, uh, the sixth one added hunt bow, the seventh one will add restorer, the eighth one will add temple cloth, the ninth one will add masamune, 
The tenth one will uh, add Princess Rod, which I think has the Stardust for Illusionist. The eleventh one will add Tip Tap 2, which is a dagger. The twelfth one will add Seventh Heaven, which is a katana, I do believe. And the thirteenth one will add um, Elixirs for Sale over at Cyril, the first shop in the game. You can't ever buy Ethers, but eventually you can buy them there. I'm not going to look up where each and every one of these is. Oh, okay, it actually says right here. Uh, Restorer is available will be in Cyril. Temple Cloth in Cyril. Elixir in Cyril. Bracers in Sprom. Hunt Bow and Masamune are in Muscadet. Star Armlet and Tip Tap 2 are in Ketowan. Cure All is in Bugabah Port, as well as Princess Rod and Seventh Heaven. So, eventually we'll be able to get all those. I'm, I'm not sure how many... Can we look at this right here? Um, Nine Turf. Yeah, we've probably got a pretty fair amount of those up, uh, unlocked, since we only have one, two, three, four, five. I think like seven total, because there's going to be an extra, an extra something right here, and I think an extra something like right in here somewhere, I want to say. And yeah, those will be the final actual areas that we put in there. So we're pretty close. We've got a bunch of the upgrades. I'm not really too concerned about it. But anyways, let's go ahead and continue on with our missionized stuff here. Like, we're not going to get anything new right here, obviously. But eventually they will. And it doesn't say how much this stuff costs, but it does say elixirs are going to be expensive. Which is, makes sense, because it restores all HP and MP, so I can obviously appreciate that. Okay, Ford Fiend. It was our turtle-like monster that's attacking the town. Somebody stop it. Crusoid in... We get a target bow, mirror mill, and stuff. I'll take it. Uh, I'm not really worried about mission items at the moment. Let's see. Armor and turtle. I can make some wicked strong armor. Uh, do we have? No, we're still missing the rat right tail. Uh, Sprawl meat. The Sprawl battle tourney is a separate contestant. Blah, blah, blah. Kikuichi Manji. Fighter. Fight trophy. Yeah, we've already done that, so I'm not really too terribly concerned. Uh, since I don't want to change anyone over to Fighter at the moment, so I'm not going to worry about it. I will send uh, Theodore off on a Metal Hunt, though, because why not? Uh, let's see. Spirit Stone, we still need the other stuff. Performer, we need Rabbit Tail, which we don't have. Good Bread, we don't have any of those. Okay, so looks like we're just going to bother with the... The, uh... Turtle... He said cruise oil, but I don't think that's a uh, town, so... Frog, Night Swords, and Haste. Eh, not my favorite set of laws, especially since I like having a frog active, but I can deal with that. Oh, by the way, over here on Save Salika Wood, the, the fight command was outlawed, so basically they couldn't do anything except just kind of sit there and heal each other if I ever damaged them, which I wasn't doing until I got my abilities. So it worked out pretty good. They just kind of sat there and made my life easy. Alright, Foreign Fiend, let's do it. If this guy is as easy as the other one, probably not because he's going to have a high defense fight, I guess. So, yeah. Now, are you going to have anything blue magey for me, buddy? Pal? Friend? Dude? Limit Glove, Munch, Resonate... I don't like the disable heavy damage when life is threatened. I don't think any of these are learnable. If I had to guess, I would say limit glove, but I don't think I don't think that's something I'm. It's on the menu here. Limit glove, much resonate. Yeah, none of these are on the menu. So we just gotta kill the little bastard. Fair enough. Uh, look at that defense, that's ridiculous. So we're gonna have to get the magical fellas here. Fair enough. All right, let's go ahead and put Marsh in there, that way he can power up our mages. Uh, let's see, I like your mostly physical, even though your stuff says magical. John, he's back as a sage, because that Zeus probably got uh, I was mistaken, that does not teach Thundaga, that teaches Ultima Blow for, for uh, Sages here. I forgot that it's the Zeus uh, Thor's Rod, I do believe, that teaches Thundaga. Yeah, I could be wrong. It's something with a lightning type thingy in there that teaches uh, Thundaga, but I'm not really too terribly worried about it. 
Uh, let's see, we can... For you. We don't need your stunt to put him to... Yeah, we can use stunt to disable the guy, I guess. Uh, let's see, who else can we go? You're not going to really be too effective because this guy doesn't have... Yeah, I guess we can drain all his magic, but... Yeah, let's put you in there. And what do we have for abilities for you? Oh, nothing there. Yeah, let's just keep you on stunt. That way we can disable the guy if we need to. Screw it. This guy should not put up much of a fight, I don't think. Yeah, we better get this thing out of here. Quick! Oh, um, we have just barely enough uh, MP with our Moogly buddy there in order to cast Ultima. And for our Sage, he's currently rocking the Black Mage and Black Magic combo, which raises the power of Fire, Ice, and Lightning, so it's really nice. Uh, no Night Sword, no Frog, no Haste. I got it. So, we're just going to go ahead and more or less put this guy to sleep every other turn and go from there, since that's pretty much the best that we got here at the moment. She don't have. Let's go ahead and... How close is Johnny Boy to actually moving? Yeah, pretty fast. I was wasting a bunch of turns with the Morning Blue Magic by casting Smile on John there to get him to get his turn faster. But as it turned out, he was pretty much getting his turn right after Mom, uh, that Moogle anyways. So I kind of didn't have to do that. I just, didn't, just wasn't paying attention, I guess. And I think we're too far away to actually hit the guy. Let's see... Two, three, four, five. Yeah, we're still a few areas away there. Oh, and I need to cast my... I need to cast my Dragon Force on our mage there in order to get him to do stuff. More damage -y. And we're just... Are you serious? That is freaking you turtly little fuck. If I had known that was going to happen, I would have done something for anti-disable. Oh, uh, just, real, just cure you for some experience, I guess. Heck? Oh, I must have canceled out of the sleep. Actually, I don't think we actually need the double double cast. I think 90% will be good enough. Yeah, screw it. Okay. Oh, well. We're just gonna not be able to do anything for you know, a fortunate amount of time here. Oh, well. Our... Our magic should still be fine as... as is to do damage to them, so I'm not really that worried. Yes, yeah, it's a bit of an inconvenience, but oh well. And the prob uh, problem with um, Ultima Blow is it does not have any range unless it has a ranged weapon attached to it. It's like any other Ultima spell. So, unfortunately, it's not going to do any extra damage because... Or it's not, we're not going to be able to use it from range because we don't have any range attacks for... Vengas. Or not Vengas, uh, Nunu. Okay, let's see. Fendara will do 140. Fire will do 140. And Bizarro will do 140. Okay, let's just go ahead and get the, the bio on him real fast. That way he is poisoned, and that'll be really good just to do chip damage every turn while we're he's running away from us for whatever reason. Here, get ready to put it back to sleep. And besides, that did plenty of damage. I mean, it didn't do 140, but it did 113, which is pretty good. I mean, it's better than what uh, Marsh and uh, the Moogle will be able to do at this point. 
simply for the fact that his defense is three times my HP, which, you know, my HP doesn't have anything to do with it, but his massive freaking defense does. But okay, 60 damage per turn, I'll take that, sure. Why not? Yeah, let's get you over here. I don't think, I hope he doesn't have a counter, because uh, that would kind of suck. Uh, let's see. You know what? Let's not get that close, because that's probably not a great idea. Can I hit you from up here? Can I hit you from up here without hitting anybody else? That probably isn't the best spot to have my Moogle, but whatever. Okay, that works. There you go. I do have the uh, black robe on here, don't I? I thought I did. Yeah, and that is the one that... Yeah, enhances fire, lightning, and ice. Okay. It might just be. It might just be because the uh, Zeus rod or whatever it is I got is a Ultima teaching weapon, so it doesn't have like the best stats or whatever possibly. So maybe that's why it seems a little bit weak. But I'll give either way. And actually, I think this will be very close to killing you here. Let's be slow. You're actually. Yeah, I think you're already actually pretty damn slow. But yeah, let's slow you even more. Why not? There you go. <sighs> now, were we able to get both of those status helmets on you? Or did you manage to avoid both of them? Yeah, you managed to avoid slow, so there's that, I guess. Hey, you can act again. Yay. Uh, let's see. Um... Let's go firebomb. That way this guy is reserved for the heck of it. All one damage that we can do to this guy. There you go. Alright, and Marsh, I'm gonna go ahead and... I'm not sure if this will actually work. I'm not sure how far, how far it reaches, but let me see. Dragon Force... Oh, it's right next to the people. I was gonna use that on... Our buddy up there and try to see how powerful his black magic spell would have got. But okay, he died anyways. I hope that was the last of them. I don't. They give really good experience. Even if Marsh didn't get any because he was disabled the entire battle. Thanks, Turtle, you old bastard. Oh well. Can't win them all. No, we well, can, but you know. Then we got a nice fat chunk of gill out of that. I'll take it. Thank you. Marsh got immunity. Very nice. Uh, I don't need either of those. Goodbye. And let's see what our next mission is here. Another foreign fiend. Awesome. A plant monster is attacking people and the body count is rising. We need a weeder quick. Uh, we get a Thor rod and a Lotus Mace. I'll do it. Okay, cool. Actually, you know what? Hang on. Let's put on... Is there anything that raises fire damage? Probably. I don't know. There you go. Let's put, let's put that on right there. That way, if he actually is weak to fire, we'll burn him to a crisp. Now, let's see where this guy is actually pulling up at here. It'd, it'd be nice if it, you know, said, hey, this is where the guy's at, instead of, you know, not saying that part. I'm assuming he's in one of these non-town areas, actually. And Shayla, we don't care about you. There he is right there. Petrify, Elementals of Steel. That's good enough for me. While I'm here, let me just check to make sure no other missions popped up or any rumors or anything. Magic Vellum. Come make magic sheepskin villain with me. I'll show you the pen is mightier than the sword. Bring some magic cotton with you. Let's see. One battle, magic villain, Fabo, magic cotton. I thought we had magic cotton. Magic cloth. You need magic cotton as magic cotton as well. Hang on. 
Cotton. You need magic cotton. You need magic cotton. Okay, I thought one of them might actually need magic cloth. I guess not. Okay, uh, so let's see. Our spears petrify elemental, which... Oh no. Hang on a second. Oh, it's this one right here. So petrify elementals steel. Alright, you banga bastards. Who you fuckers are gonna pull that shit? I'm not getting into the abyssing war with you guys to get into a battle here. Okay, charm, damage to animal, time magic. That's not what I need for this particular mission here. Like, at all. Thanks, you little fox. Time magic, wind, gunship, perfect. I'll do it. Yeah, Metal Hunt, Theodore, good for you. I'm proud of you, pal. Go away, shoot. Uh, I don't care about either of those. Unless you are, like, super duper awesome, which you're not. Goodbye. Sorry, Jonas. There we go. And could it be some under attack? I'll worry about that later. Who cares? And marble. Uh, now, this guy's probably going to do the old bad breath thing. Now, assuming I can actually control him, that'd be awesome. But, you know, he might not be a big fan of that. Neochu. Bad breath, sound wave. Neutralize the status enhancements. That's not cool. I don't like that. And bad breath, goo, mobilize. I don't think we have to worry about uh, goo as much, but the bad breath will be a bit of a problem there. Okay, let me let me look into something real fast here. I want to see which. I want to see if uh, if it mentions exactly what status ailments these things uh, cause with bad breath. I mean, I know it's going to be a whole bunch. But, because hmm. my goal is to try to get these guys to learn bad breath, obviously. The problem is, I don't want them to get completely crippled in the process. See, Genji, that doesn't really protect you from anything. Headband, not from anything. Uh, let's see, Genji. I need something that protects from, like, Confuse and Disable and stuff like that. Okay, Zombie Dark Silence, Frog Poison, Slow Mobilize, Song Doom. That doesn't protect from Disable, but it protects from a whole bunch of other stuff. Uh, Scarab, Immobilize Frog, Disarm, Confuse Charm Dark. Um, uh, hmm. You know, I think I might just let these guys suffer, actually, and then possibly a sooner or something, which I don't actually have on you, do I? Huh. <laughs> Alright, back to plan A, like I was saying. Let's see, for our white magic on you... Okay, you have a Suna, so that will actually work out pretty well. Actually, you know what? No, you know what? This, this is fine. I'll just go ahead and have Mac here. Uh, do something along the lines of having items as his... As his... Secondary, that way we can just heal the status ailments. Yeah, Marsh and these guys, uh, Marsh and the other guy will get kind of screwed, but they'll learn some abilities here. Plan, so. Okay, the Red Wings bring this over too. And I think they just brought over everything they could think of at this point. Which is fine, because I'm learning stuff out of it. I'll take it. Yeah, so I'm going to get myself nice and positioned here for you there, big Marlboro bastard buddy. So let's get to it, shall we? Uh, you go over here, that way you're not as big of a target. You go right about over here. Now, hopefully, the way his breath... I think his breath attack is actually set up in a cone. I'm actually, let me see. I think it's set up like the uh, Benga uh, 
not the big guy, the gladiator, or not the gladiator, the dragoon breaths, I think. I could be wrong. No, it appears to just be, uh, huh, saying that it's a one, a one tile targeting area. Huh, I thought it was a AoE. I guess I was mistaken. Oh well. Now let's see, let's see how far you guys can actually go. You can't go very far, it's fine. I can deal with that. Uh, I don't have any magic for you to dispel, unless you're talking about my auto rays granted from my... What is it? My angel thingy. I thought you... I didn't know you could actually dispel that kind of stuff. I thought that was permanent, because in a lot of games, if it's granted by an item, you cannot dispel it. You know, which makes sense. Or, you know, you could actually, you know, attack me with... With, uh... You know, bad breath. That'd be awesome. Thanks, pal. I'm just gonna wait here. You... What level are you guys, anyways? 36 again. I guess you guys are still... Oh, well, you're level 42. Wow, that's kind of ridiculous. Uh, what is the condition for winning here? Just win the battle. So we don't gotta kill the boss. Just, just the, uh, battle. Fair enough. Uh, let's see. You guys are gonna get your turn reasonably soon. So I think what we'll do is we'll go ahead and try to... Neutralize that guy up there. And actually, hang on. What was the laws again? I think it was... Wind, gunmanship, and something else. Time magic. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah, so we'll just go ahead and try to nuke these, uh, the purple guy up there since he's the bigger threat. And then after that, we'll worry about uh, other stuff like... You know. The little guy over there. And we're not going to do a whole lot of damage, I guess, are we? Yeah, I'm too worried about... I was too worried about getting these status ailments healed once I got them, but I kind of forgot that my ability to do damage as the move was kind of limited. But you know what? We'll live. It's fair enough. Now, I don't think we can actually poison this guy. He might just say, hey, I'm too awesome to be poisoned. But you know what? I'm going to go hit and go right about over here. That way, I think he's not going to be able to actually hit us. Actually, you know what? Yeah, right here is fine, because I forgot we brought along the, the volcano thingy, the, the dragon stone, for a fair amount of damage. There you go. Yeah, 85% accuracy is more than enough to hit that guy, so I'm not really too concerned. Uh, how about you go right about here? Thank you. You know, the bad breath, now that I think about it, it might be a one-tile range in the areas surrounding him. I don't know. We'll just have to see, I guess. Uh, yeah, you just kind of hang out. Up Actually, no, hang on. Let's check out our Ultima Blade, even though it's going to be kind of weak with our Pariva Blade here. Yeah, it's only going to do 42 damage, but yeah, at least it'll, at least it'll look kind of cool. I think all the Ultima spells pretty much just look exactly like that now that I think about it. I don't think they have any difference. You wanna attack me with your bad breath there, fella? I mean, I'm a perfect target. You son of a bitch. <sighs> okay, what exactly did he get hit with? Uh, blind, confuse... Oh, Blind and Confuse is pretty much it. That's fine, I guess. Okay. See, that'll get... a lot of damage on that guy, unfortunately. He'll be able to survive. It's not gonna kill that guy. And it's not gonna kill that guy, but I think it should be fine. And I think the magic attack will actually get him out of the Confuse, which is pretty much my main concern. Perfect. Yeah, so his confusion is gone. Awesome. That's the only thing I really cared about. Uh, guys, I'm like right here. I'm 
extra enticing, extra ready to get hosed over here, so do your worst, guys. And actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and help him out with a nice little white wind here. Uh, we need to get a little closer in order to not heal the Marlboros as well. But right here should be fine. There you go. That's the stuff. Anyhow, yeah, it's going to heal for our maximum H or our current uh, HP on him, so pretty much a full heal. If it was with Marsh, it would be because he has higher HP and he hasn't taken any damage yet. But yeah, that worked out pretty good. Uh, do not re-bad breath him, please. Thank you. You know, you could you could bad breath him if you wanted to. That'd be awesome. Thanks. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put you... Try to get you out of the range of these guys, but they might just be determined to not target my guys with learning. You know, because that's kind of what they do. Okay, you're very close to dying, which is awesome. But it'd be nice if you guys actually targeted blue guys. I'm pretty sure the game has like a, a code that says if the player blue mage is trying to learn an ability, just go bother somebody else. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's the general idea of what their uh, coding goes. I mean, I could be wrong, but that's what it seems like half the time. There we go. That way, when he does his attack again on us, we can actually survive it, since apparently that did way more damage than I was expecting. Then again, he's gonna be dead in the next like two minutes here, so whatever. And actually, I could just I could just uh, angel whisper myself for three rays, so I'm not sure what I'm really worried about here. All right, I am a prime target. I'm right behind you. Thank you. Now, do not miss. Actually, hit me with something. Ah, okay. I am poisoned. I am... Well, I don't know about poisoned. But I am frogged and confused and some other stuff. And silenced. So that's awesome. Now, can I actually kill this guy? Actually, I'm blinded, so that's not great. Yeah, even, but with concentrate, it works out pretty well, I guess. Uh, you know, let's just uh, stick back over here, I suppose. Yeah, I'll just leave you to your own vices and just kind of... Actually, you know we got to heal Marsh, don't we? Yeah. Okay, we'll worry about Marsh in just a moment, though. Or you could just myrtleize me right now. That works, too. Thanks. Well, at least we're not in a uh, uh, jag. And... What happened? Did he not die? I survived! I thought that said something like 220 damage. Unless I healed myself enough to actually make it awesome, that's pretty cool, I guess. Okay, I'll take it if I have to, I suppose. Yeah, I think Bang... I think... I think, uh... White Wind is the best bang for your buck healing spell, um, as long as your HP is high enough for it to be, well, high healing. Because as you can see, it only costs 12 MP and it heals for ridiculous amounts of damage. Now, all we gotta do is get, a, get, get that little green guy to do his thing, and we're good to go. Feel free to ignore everybody else, that'd be awesome, thanks. Yeah, I'm going to go right over here. That's perfect. I bet you anything he's going to go after the uh, the Sage right there instead of the Blue Mage. I, I would almost guarantee it. Alright, cure all. That should cure well, everything. Actually, I think there might be a couple status ailments that doesn't cure. I think it does cure the vast majority of them. 
Like it might not. It might be one of those things where it doesn't cure like stop or petrify, but I think it does cure a pretty decent chunk of it. Alright, I'm gonna go right here for you, big guy. You ready? So I'm ready. Like I said, he's gonna go right after the fucking. How about you target the guy that wants to be attacked, you little bastardizing shit? Okay, so what do we get? Sleep. Confuse. Okay, sleep and confuse, that's not bad, I guess. Um. Yeah, let's just get over here and get ready to attack that guy, but. For the time being, there's not a real whole lot we have to do. Actually, yeah, let's get you nearby, but not actually next to him. And I'm just going to wait here as a nice little target for you. Uh, you can go way over here for the moment. I like to thank the Red Wings for bringing these guys over, because it makes me trying to get these... Blue magics that I missed earlier, or was too lazy to get earlier, I guess. Reasonably easy, because they have a lot of them. Or at least a couple of them. Thank you. Please. Or not. Thanks. Actually, now that I think about it, I wouldn't mind immobilizing that guy next to him. That way he doesn't have a choice in who he has to attack. I'm just going to wait right here for the moment. Uh, let's see, you go over here. I want that guy to be the most enticing target here. How about you go like in the bottom, like, off corner of the screen or something there, fella? That'd be awesome. Uh, you're still asleep. Um... I'm going to be just in position for this guy to attack me, aren't I? Yeah. He's not going to go after the Blue Mage again, I can already tell. He's got a Primo other target. Uh, let's see here... Let me see if I can't get a random status effect on this guy. No, then it, it might be blind, and that would screw over my chances of getting hit by it, so... Okay, we'll just wait. Okay, do not attack anybody else. You're going for the Sage again, you little bastard. Okay, luckily it's just a regular attack, so that's fine. I'm going to go right here for you. You go way the heck over here. That way, you're kind of too far away for him to chase, because he doesn't have that great of movement. Let's get you way over there. Actually, way over there. There you go. Okay, right there, Phil. I'm just asking to be at, to be attacked there, sir. Feel free to breathe creepily down my neck. I am, I am welcoming uh, that type of uh, well, behavior at this point, sir. But only today, though. It's a limited time offer. Thank you, finally. Alright, and now we can just fertilize that bastard. And what'd you get hit with? You got hit with... Darkness... Silence... Okay, I can actually deal with those. Those are fine. I'm not really too terribly concerned with those. So, Sidewinder... 
probably gonna take a few hits to actually kill him, because he's probably got, uh... Actually, can we actually hit him with bad breath now that I think about it? We can. Cool. Half the time they're immune to a lot of the status ailments that they can inflict, but apparently this worked out pretty good. I like it. Sleep, blind, silence, frog, confuse. I think those are the vast majority of what you can inflict on them. Like, you might be able to inflict um, slow and berserk as well, but I'm not entirely sure. Or, or uh, slow and disable, but I'm, uh, I'm not entirely sure if that's the case, but ooh. Ah, that's awesome. See? Our blue magic is paying off already. Ooh, look at that critical hit of one damage. Ooh, that hurts. It really and truly hurts me deep. Let's see, who actually needs the finishing experience blow besides none of you guys since you're rather overpowered, but... Um... I'll just let Marsh, or I'll just let whoever's closest get it. Yeah, not quite. Eh, we only used items a few times here, so it was good enough, I suppose. Uh, will Sonic Boom work here? Thirty percent chance? Probably not. So. I'll just go over here with... Actually, no. Let's go with a nice group heal. Do we even need it? I don't think we really actually need it. Okay, screw it. We'll just kind of hang out here then. Well, I guess you do it since you have accuracy. You have 6 HP left. You frog-faced little... turd. Cool. Uh, something about snakes and turtles. Uh, I think you might have said something about, oh, what else is going to show up here? I wasn't paying attention. We'll worry about it later, I guess. Alright, Foreign Fiend. The, the third one, clear. We got Learning for Marsh, very nice. We can go ahead and skip him out to a different job again. And none of those matter. Alright, so next episode... We'll probably get more foreign bean type things because that's probably what's gonna ha that's probably what's gonna be in the pub. So guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good night.